What is going on, my people? It is your UK trailer brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man around, and I'll be talking about One Piece Burning Blood. So get your fried chicken, get your Kool Aid, and sit them cheeks down because you know, you definitely know this UK chocolate brother will be going ham on this video. So I'll further overdo, let me just get on with this. So we've been getting some stuff from Angry Storm Gamer, link in the description below. He's been noticing some stuff and I've also been noticing a little bit, but there's three things I would like to touch on. Number one, how many characters we expect to be in One Piece Burning Blood. Number two, what happens when you dash with Logis and other types of people like the whole dashing system. And number three, the whole effect of the whole environmental thing which I noticed in the gameplays that they showed us and in the trailers. So let me just start off by talking about the news that everybody will most likely want to know. How many characters will One Piece Burning Blood have? So with the interview that we got like in France that nobody understood the crap out of, like they said that at least 50 characters will be in One Piece Burning Blood. They never said how many, they're not sure if it will be exactly 50 or they're not sure if it will be over 50, but at least 50 characters will be in One Piece Burning Blood. Me, in my personal opinion, that depends on what characters you put in the game. It always depends on what characters you put in the game because there could be some characters that people would like to use because everybody in One Piece, for the most part, is a fan favorite. So it all depends on the characters that they pick and the characters they select out of in the One Piece universe that they put in. But other than that, the, the whole amount of 50 characters, possibly or being over 50, it sounds all good to me. Anyways, let's go on to the next thing. The next thing is the dashing. I know people have been speculating, why are One Piece characters moving so slow? What is this? Is this J-Stars? Is this absolutely J-Stars? So, I'm just going to start by saying that if you use people like um, Crocodile and this gameplay in front of you is going to show it. Crocodile will turn himself to sand and he can, and that is his version of dashing towards you. With people like Bartolomeo, he can dash behind the barrier. So he will just pop up behind you like, hey, I got them cheeks in my hand. <laughs> he can just pop up behind you and he can get you from behind and string you in a few combos. So with low gears, they're going to have different ways. With Ace, he's going to literally just literally fly up in the air, then drop right in front of you directly ready to attack you. Depending on which logo you got and what the logo does. Because what I mean what the logo does, I mean in terms of how they do it in the anime slash the manga. Because everybody has different techniques of going towards you. If you know what I'm saying. It depends with the logo, if you know what I'm saying. Kizaru can move at light speed because he is literally light. Like this guy can move at light speed. So when he comes towards you, if he was in, if he's confirmed, if he gets confirmed in One Piece Burning Blood, which I expect he will. He will literally dash towards you like really quick and then you got people like x drake that will literally dash towards you head on obviously he won't be as fast as other characters but he also has his own unique dashing system when he's in his t-rex form so everybody is going to have different techniques of how they move towards you like people like zoro sanji everyone's going to have their own unique style of going towards you so that is pretty cool and depending on how it works and depending on how it feels when i'm playing the game then I'll be the judge of that if I like the whole system of how they are doing the dashing system. But for the most part, this gameplay that is showing them, like showing Ace and um, Crocodile dashing towards you, that is how they're going to be dashing towards you in One Piece Burning Blood. So on to the final thing, which I noticed yesterday night when I was watching a random gameplay on Ace versus Frankie. When I was watching Ace versus Frankie, and this got confirmed as well by Angry Storm Gate. Gamer, he noticed it as well because he made a video like he uploaded a video today on it So when I noticed this yeah, I was like wow is that what it's gonna look like is that what's gonna look like because I didn't notice that when I looked at the gameplay because when I look at the gameplay for One Piece Burning Blood I keep noticing new things and there's one thing I noticed is how the ice stays on the ground and What game what gamer what angry storm gamer said? Like what his friends told him because his friend works at Bandai Namco who's been giving him the gameplay. What he told him when he was asking the people that will stay on the ground. And when I mean that will stay on the ground that will change the battle strategically. That's what he said. I'm not sure if it's a 100% thing because things can still change. Depending on how the game is now it can be different than how the game ends. All we know is that the core build is going to be like that. So... Depending on how they work this system, I'm really looking forward to this system. You know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to seeing the ice stay on the ground. You've seen the little burn marks when um, when um, Ace uses his fire 
that looks dope, that looks hype as hell. But it all depends on how it works and how it's gonna look at the end of the day. Because this could look good in the trailers, but in the in the actual game, it looks like Dark Dookie. But we gotta wait and see how One Piece Burner Blood is gonna pan out. But guys, I wanna know your overall thoughts and opinions. Are you happy about all this news about One Piece Burner Blood? Leave it down in the comments below because I wanna know what you guys think. Because we are discussing together because I've been enjoying the discussion that we've been doing in the comments section below. So I would like it if we can keep that up. So yeah, just leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Because this has been your UK Trotler Brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And it is time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please like, really enjoy this video, and yeah, catch you next one, guys. Bye.